There were many extraordinary people involved in the OG freak show community and one of those was Isaac W. Sprague. He was born on the 21st of May of 1841 in East Bridgewater, Massachusetts. His dad was a shoemaker and his mom was a housewife. Isaac's childhood was like any others. He was a playful and lovely kid and in good health, so he thought. At 12, he started losing weight rapidly and was also losing muscle mass. And it's not like he didn't eat a thing. Isaac had quite a stomach, but he just kept getting thinner. His parents at first thought Isaac was too energetic, burning a lot of calories in the process, so they forbid him to run, jump, swim, you know, activities that will consume lots of power. But nothing changed. The family went to see countless doctors who couldn't find a cure or an aid. His condition was unexplained and sadly untreated. As he grew older, Isaac tried to find different jobs, but because of his condition, he was very frail and couldn't perform the task he was assigned it. So he decided to become a shoemaker apprentice in his dad's workshop. He also found a job at a grocery store. This was his entire teenage years until he was unable to work. All of those years saw how Isaac's weight dropped dramatically. He had no strength left. His world collapsed when his parents died around 1860. He was on his own now. Five years later, while visiting a local carnival, he was spotted by a marketing guy of the establishment. He saw a great opportunity in his freak show act, but Isaac refused. At first. But thinking about it more, he was perfect. He could just present himself without lifting or doing anything and earn some money. So, he took the job. The act was called The Living Human Skeleton. His show became very popular, so he thought of expanding his opportunities by applying to the Barnum's Museum. By 1866, he was working in the Manhattan Circus, earning 80 bucks a week by pretending to marry the fattest woman in the world. Three years later, he decided to retire after a horrifying encounter with death. In a previous video, we learned that Barnum's museum catch on fire twice. Well, Isaac applied after the first incident and was present on the second one. He later met and married Tamar Moore, with whom he had three healthy kids. But Isaac's condition was still taking its toll. At 5'6 and weighing 40 pounds, he couldn't find another job and now with his wife and three kids to care for, he needed money very badly. He went back to the Barnum Circus Museum and began touring with them. Even though he was working seemingly happy in the circus, he was trying to find a new job somewhere else because, not a shocker, he didn't like touring with the circus. But unfortunately, he didn't find anything outside the carnival life. And even there, he struggled because he was getting increasingly weaker with the passing days. Didn't help that he was a gambler and had a ton of collected debt. He could not stop working, but at least he had a resolution. In 1882, he finally had a diagnosis. Severe muscular atrophy. Rapid descent in weight causing the loss of muscle tissue. With this information, the fact that he still had money problems and the thought of leaving his family with nothing, he talked to anatomy professor Dr. Holmes of the Harvard Medical School about selling his body for a thousand dollars. Isaac wanted them to research his condition, learn to treat it, and leave his body on display in their amphitheater. On January 5th of 1887, Isaac died due to asphyxiation. He was so weak that he couldn't do primary functions anymore. According to the book Physician and Surgeon, Volume 9, doctors analyze his body and perform an autopsy. There's a grave with his name in Hanson, Massachusetts. It's unknown if his body was briefly on the Harvard Museum or after the autopsy, Harvard released the body to the family for burial. As we could see, Isaac tried. He did. First, when his parents passed and later on because of his family and his multiple deaths, people attempted to be the next thin man by starving themselves. Later on, another man with the same condition as Isaac took his place, but he will always be remembered in entertainment as the very first of his kind. I hope I see you next time. 
And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Stay safe.